All right, here's where the here's the river where all the fish died, the Arkansas River. We're coming into Ozark, so we're gonna find out. See if we can find some people who knew what happened. And here's the town of Ozark, population 3,525. Welcome to Ozark, established 1835. Okay, I stopped in uh, Ozark and uh, talked to a barbershop here. And they said uh, to go across the river, back across the river, and uh, take a left to the little dinky town of Roseville because that's where most of the fish washed ashore. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. Here we are back at this corner, the Ozark sign. We're going to cross this bridge, go back across the McClellan Clur, McClellan Kerr, Arkansas River Navigation System. And we went uh, about seven miles on Roseville, I mean uh, on Highway 309, and here we are in the little town of Roseville. So let's see if we can uh, rustle up some interviews. Okay, they said to take a, go in where the church was, so here's the church. It's called Locust Street. Let's see if we can uh, stop this driver right here. All right, what's your guys' names? Janie and Donald Williams. All right, so uh, you were, you were, you you drove down, you just live a little bit away from here, right? Yeah, just down the road about a half mile. Okay, so tell us, tell us what you saw. Fish laying all over the banks. <laughs> so, oh, oh. It was what? Drum. Drums. Drums. That's all it was. Drums. It wasn't all kinds of fish. It was drums. Yeah. Oh, the, a fish called drums. Yeah. So it was only one type of fish. So, wow. And it was right down here? Yeah. Okay. Which right now the water's up. The water was down a little bit and it was, it's got like a sand thing. Sandbank, right? And they were just laying everywhere. Everywhere. Five hundred of them. Okay. Just for what you could see. Yeah, just what we could see. Wow. Okay. Did you? Uh, do you have any explanation what it could be? What happened? No. Nope. nope. <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, thanks. Never seen that like before. <laughs> All right. Well, you never seen anything like it before. No. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for your time. Uh -huh. Right. I'm right here at one of the houses in Roseville. Right. I mean, the lake is, or the river is right there. And, uh, sir, what's your name? Norman Noble. Norman. So tell us, uh, tell us about your experience when the, when this first occurred. Well, I heard about it uh, on the television one morning. Went down there and looked. And there are fish all up and down the bank. Uh, some people came by to supposedly look into it, but I never heard anything about it after that. Uh, so you mean the government or...? Well, whoever it was that was supposed to be testing the fish, uh, they came down, I saw the truck and my neighbor told me about them, about, about them over there talking about the fish. I'd gone down there to see what there was, and I don't know, just around the boat dock, there's maybe 200 fish washed up there. Uh, you could see them on down the river and up underneath the bluff, up river from there. Uh, couldn't see if there was any on the other side of the river, but I didn't go over there. So have you ever seen anything like this before? Uh, Once or twice overseas in some of the big cities. Oh, okay. All right. So, uh, uh, what are the reports? Uh, what did you hear about what caused it? 
Uh, I never did hear anything about why. Uh, like I said, the people came down apparently to take samples or whatever, and that was the last I heard of it. And we heard about dead fish off and on for maybe a month, and then it just wasn't newsworthy. This it wasn't newsworthy anymore. No, it, it's just like uh, if nobody's talking about it, it will blow away. So. All right. <laughs> All right. Hey, man. Thanks a lot for your time. No problem.